appendix problem 3.13 an object of mass 5 kg is initially rest on the surface the surface of coefficient of kinetic friction mu k is equal to 0.6 what is the initial velocity given to the object that it travels 10 meter before coming to rest so here the mass is 5 kg and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.6 and the distance is 10 meter okay now we can take this is an object which is at rest okay so this is having mass m now what are the forces acting here the object is accelerating in the x direction here the force acting here it is mg here it is acting is normal force and here this is the kinetic frictional force okay now in y direction okay the magnitude of the normal force is equal to that of the magnitude of the gravitational so force so we can write n is equal to mg now in x direction the object is accelerating okay the object is accelerating in the x positive x direction the frictional force is acting in the opposite direction so we can write according to newton's second law fk is equal to it is minus fk is equal to m into e okay so you know fk is what mu k into n so which can be written as mu k into mg so i can write ma is equal to minus mu k into mg so m and m will get cancelled so you will be getting acceleration is equal to minus mu k g okay now to find to find initial velocity because the object is coming to rest so uh, the final velocity will be what zero the final velocity will be zero so we are using the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2as okay u square plus 2as is equal to zero u square minus 2 into mu k g s is equal to what zero so u is equal to u square is equal to 2 mu k g s u is equal to root of 2 mu k g s so we can write here this root of 2 into 0.6 into 9.8 into 10 if you multiply and take root you will be getting it as 10.8 meter per second